guys, I know it's spring and it's nice and warm out and sunny. A lot of people have been calling me and saying, hey, I want to plant my food plot. Would you come up and help me plant my clover plot? Well, right now is not the time to do that. The time to plant a clover plot is last fall. And then clover will pop up in the cool weather when there's plenty of moisture and then get started as soon as the soil temperature has reached the appropriate level, which is right about now here in Pennsylvania. It's the uh, first week of April. So, um, if, you, if you try to plant small seeded varieties in the spring, especially if you till the soil, right now it's very windy, it's hot outside, it's going up into the 70s, and it's very dry, so the humidity is down, drying out the soil, and your clover will fail because it'll pop up in the cool weather. You'll just have a tiny little plant, and it'll just fry in the sun. So don't try it in the spring. It's too expensive and too much work, and you don't want it to fail. So anytime, now if you've done that this year and it, and it dies, and you have a bunch of weeds, go ahead and spray the weeds and then put on a uh, summer, summer cover crop, okay? So what I'm going to do this year on a lot of plots is to drill in a summer cover. And then depending on what the deer do to that, you know, if they let it grow, it turns into something, some of that cover crop can follow all the way through hunting season. But I also add more seeds to that. Um, some of the things I like to add are, are uh, annual clovers, some winter wheat, some rye. Um, I've had good luck with vetch lately um, because the deer kind of leave it alone. They don't wipe it out and it comes back. Like right now, it's coming back pretty nice. It's actually on one of my food plots on a client uh, in Center County. It's the only thing that's still alive. The deer ate everything right down to the mud there. So when you get into clovers, uh, you want to plant in fall, always use a nurse crop. Nurse crops are going to be cereal grains generally. Wheat, rye, oats, spelt. Um, if you want to not have any cereal grains coming up in the spring, and you just want clover to be there, or if you have chicory in there, uh, go ahead and uh, use oats because they'll freeze out over the winter and they won't do well in the spring, okay? Um, annual clovers are good when you want to just get a cover on in the fall and get something that's going to pop up early in the spring for you and then fizzle out and then you can put in your summer crop. You can do your summer cover crop, soybeans or whatever whatever it is you're going to use. Uh, my go-to's for that are the Frosty Bur Bursine uh, the Ferrosti variety is a bursine clover that is um, adaptable to cold temperatures. Hence the name. All right, crimson clover is is uh, real solid clover. Uh, does really well in my climate and looks great. It comes up in the fall. It'll last all winter. Deer will dig down and get at it if there's snow on the ground and. It'll come up strong this time of year, and by June, it'll be in or late May, it'll be in flower. And at that point, you can terminate it. You can lightly disc it once it uh, goes to seed if you want. You can reseed that way. Um, whatever you want to do, you just leave it alone. But that's a great clover if you're going to put in a summer crop, such as corn, soybeans, cow peas sunflowers, etc. Balanza is another one that's nice because it's easy to terminate. You can actually just roll it down. It's got a hollow stem and uh, very lush and kind of a tall clover. So it's a good weed suppressor, nitrogen fixer, and you can just roll it and uh, you know you can, uh, you can broadcast some seeds and roll it over and have a summer food, food plot there. Uh, if you're going with perennial clover, then you switch over to the Ladino, the medium red, and white clovers. I've, I've had good luck. I wrote down Alice clover. I, 
I buy it locally around here. It's out of Oregon, and uh, I don't know, it's not the same as the variety that's spelled with a Y, but it's uh, a long-lasting white clover, does well in the shade, does well on a wet site, and deer love it. So um, that's just my experience, and uh, I have tried to, to plant in the spring, and it did not work. And uh, so I wasted my efforts. But uh, if you're lucky with the weather, it might work. But I wouldn't count on the weather, especially nowadays, to be good for spring planting. So again, early spring food plots are planted in the fall. Okay? That's it for today, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit the uh, like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'm bearing down on a uh, thousand views, and I hope you'll support the channel by subscribing. All right, talk to you later. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button, and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.